and the pride that has made us grim. We haven't always been grim, and it's the pride, the winning attitude that made us grim. It made us want the nation to know who we were and where we were. And this is what you got to do. Maybe I'm silly as hell to stand here to ask you to do it. I don't know no other way. Winning is the name of the game. They're going to be there trying to get us, and you've got to get them. All right, let's have the pride. Let's go. We saw the girls in part two. It's time for part three, Southwood and Huntington boys. The last one went to the wire. Southwood looking for revenge last night. They had Big Mike back this time. They also had Jeremiah for most of the first half, and when he's on the floor, that boy go to work. He uses the spin and gets the put back. Later, he's on the offensive glass. That's two more. On the other end is Cedric Webb. He gets the put back for the Huntington Raiders. But the Twin Towers for Southwood made it tough on the inside for Huntington. But they got it honest. Devin the dude, he gets the lay. Low scoring first quarter for both teams. Then Jeremiah, he gets the floater on the other end. Cue the senior guard, Rayshawn McCullough. He started cooking, he gets the lay. Then he gambles in the passing lane. Gets the steal, that's two more of them things. The homies from Southwood, they got that bitter beer face. Big Jeremiah, he said, y'all boys don't trip. He pulls up for the top of the key like a guard. <sighs> and Rayshawn comes right back. H way or no way. That's a trade from the other side. The celebration, it cost him a technical foul. The fans, they didn't like it, but my man B, he said, Sean, I had to. It's the rules. It's all love, bro. Don't trip. That woke the crowd up, and it woke up Mike Johnson. Can't make him if you don't take him. All he needed was to see it go in. Them boys from the wood in full go mode, Darius Anderson. He knifes through the lane and gets the finish. This is for what they did on Walker Road. And we ain't coming for the loop, we want it all. After the timeout, Ray Sean pulls up off the dribble from deep. Ooh, that's money team. Cam Green, he comes right back, gets the lay on the other end for Southwood. Everything was going good <laughs> until this happened. <laughs> Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans that I have for you. Southwood up at the half, but Huntington, they ain't tripping. Trail and Zy, they screaming, stay smooth. Stay smooth. Be smooth. <laughs> I don't know what Coach Mack told Ray Sean, but when he came out of the locker room, he came out like he was on that special sauce. He gets the lay to go. Then he kisses one off the glass. That's old school. No flare, no flash, just a bucket. Then Coach Mack didn't like the call. Lil' Sean said, don't worry, Coach. I'm going now. He beats a man, uses the left. Oh, that's nice. Now it's Southwood that needs a timeout. Could Ray Sean be back to his old ways? A little grin during the break says it all. Southwood led by Mike. He gets the jumper to go. The Cedric Webb, he's like that on the block. Calling Big Mo and he just getting started. They started trading bows like Riddick Bow and Mike Tyson. Hey, yo, Mikey, you got to chill, bro. Sean feeds Mo. He finds Dez cutting to the rack. That's two more. Taj gets the lay for Southwood. Ray Sean responds at the rack with two. Kamari Fleming, he gave Coach G some quality minutes. That's an end one. Then he gets another bucket to fall. Chill, Mo. He gets the put back. <laughs> Darius knocks down a tray from the corner. They send two at Sean and they go back to Mo. He finished with a strong 13 points and 11 rebounds. Mike had 19, but the night belonged to Ray Sean and the Raiders though. Devin took flight again. Oh my God. Big Jeremiah had a couple of dunks to soften the blow. In the end, take it from Spanky. It's always good to have someone you can lean on in a tight squeeze, right? <laughs> Ray Sean almost messed around and had an efficient 30 piece. Huntington hangs on and they beat Southwood.